Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I review Barbie dolls every Monday, and today I wanted to show you two of my my first Barbie dolls. The one on the left here, dressed in yellow, is from 1980. She's number one in the My First Barbie series. She's number 1875. And on the right, we've got My First Barbie from 1982. She's the second in the My First Barbie series. She's not dressed in her original fashion. The one on the left is. The one on the right is dressed in 1982 fantasy fashion classics, number 5544. Now, the first thing I want to look at is the face molds. Both the face molds are the same. They're both the 1976 Superstar Barbie face. And they look very similar, almost identical. But I'll, I'll let you in on the detail as far as if you find one of these Barbies, you can tell what the difference is between the dolls. Looking closely, her eyes, she's got very blue eyeshadow on. I mean, it's not hard to tell that her eyeshadow is blue. If you take a look at the doll on the right, I'll bring her up close. She's got super faint eyeshadow, just a little tiny hint of blue, but you can barely see it. So that's the difference between these two dolls. If you look at their iris, they're pretty much the same. The one on the right, I think, is a darker blue. But the pattern in the iris with the white dotting or dashing is pretty much the same. So you can't really tell by that, but you can tell by the eyeshadow. Now, I've seen on the doll on the left, and maybe I've even seen it on the on the doll on the right, is that some of the dolls have a side part like this. Now the girl on the right, I don't really have a part in her hair. She came to me with her hair like this, which is similar to the original style. So I left her like that. But sometimes the dolls have middle parts. Sometimes they have side parts. So that's also not a really good way to tell which doll you have. I feel like the best way to tell is what I just told you about the eyeshadow. And I will also show you in the book here the difference between the two dolls' eyes. Let me try to get this up in the screen shot so you can see. And um, let me pan down here so we can look at the eyes of the two dolls that I'm referring to. Okay, this is the one, the 1980 here. Look at her eyeshadow. It's very blue. Then if you look at the one at the bottom, she is 1982. Let me see, where does it show that? There it is, 1982. And you can see that she barely has any eyeshadow on at all. So that's why I believe this is the difference in these two dolls. I've looked up several of them new in box online, and they're all pretty consistent with this eyeshadow thing. The book that I'm using for reference that I discuss my body markings and everything, if I don't have the dolls sometimes, you can look it up in this. It's called The Ultimate Barbie Doll Book by Marcy Melillo. It's a wonderful reference guide. It shows so many different things for a lot of the different Barbies. I think it actually goes up through the 90s. So it's a great reference to have. Okay, now back to the dolls themselves. The doll, the original My First Barbie on the left here is wearing her original fashion. She comes with this yellow trico. It's a one piece uh, bodysuit or a swimsuit. It snaps in the back here with a metallic silver snap. 
It's got a blue tie at the neck and a blue tie at the waist. And then she's got matching yellow trico pants. And she also came with a striped skirt in yellow and blue, as well as a top, like kind of like a tube top looking thing. But I don't have those pieces, I just have these two. Her arms are straight. They move up and down only. That's why, one of the reasons why these were my first Barbie, because they're easy to dress for younger children. They don't have the bent arm that the Superstar Barbies had that can be hard to get uh, clothes on and off. The heads move from side to side. They don't really have any up and down range motion. They do not have twist and, well, you know what? She does have a twist and turn Barbie body. I thought they were just straight bodies, but they're not. The legs are straight, they don't bend. They're in a bit of a pose. So if I show her here to the side, you can see the right leg is straight up and down and the left leg has a permanent little bit of a bend in it. She has the high heel feet. These aren't her original shoes. These are shoes from China that I got that match this outfit really well. Now for this doll on the right, the 1982 My First Barbie, showing you a close-up of her. Same thing with the way the head moves. But she has a little bit more up and down movement. It might be that this, um, the doll on the left, I think her head is a little bit far down on her body or on, on her neck. And maybe that's why it doesn't move up and down. I'm not sure, but I don't want to mess with it. I think she looks good and I don't want to try to loosen up her neck a bit. I don't want it to get to the point where it doesn't sit on the body well. Her arms go up and down as well. They don't move in and out. She's got a twist waist also. And she's got the straight leg with the bent leg. Bit bent leg. They bend at the hips, but they do not bend at the knees. These are great dolls to have. They're, they're very similar. As I said, the difference is in the eyeshadow. And I'm super happy to have these in my collection. I hope you liked the dolls. I hope you liked my video. If you did, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. And I'll see you next time with more cool stuff. Thanks for watching.